Hello everyone, this is Delivery Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the app invites, how to actually develop uh, an invite for, 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 for users or for friends, uh, colleagues and uh, testers so that they can have the opportunity to uh, install your, uh, mo your mobile application. It's going to be sent through different from either through message or through email or through any other form that uh, the intent actually picks to send the uh, to to say to, to send the invite in particular. Uh, what is a an app invite? An app invite is a cross-platform solution for sending personalized email and SMS invitations, onboarding users, and measuring the impact of the invitation. Word of mouth is one of the most effective ways of getting users to install your app. In a recent study of thousands of smartphone users, researchers found that the Number one reason people discovered an app is because they heard about it from a friend or a colleague. Okay, app invites make it easy to turn your app's uh, users into your app's strongest advocates. Now, app invites also builds on the Firebase dynamic links, where the dynamic links ensure that recipients of links have the best possible experience for their platform and the apps they have installed. You know, app invites ensures the best possible experience for sending links. Okay, so I will actually walk you through on how to uh, incorporate the app invite into your mobile application so that users of your mobile app can as well just send a message uh, to their colleagues, their friends, or loved ones that they really felt needs the application or needs to install the application. So it's going to be sent via messages, uh, email, or other platform of uh, sending uh, messages. Okay. I'll be moving straight to my Android Studio, where's my development environment, and I will actually take you through uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, uh, development of this particular integration. Okay, I'll first of all be looking at the build of Gradle, which, also, which is the house of our dependencies. Now, this is when we talk about the Google Play service, the GMS Google Play service, uh, invite, app invite, this uh, line in particular, 8.4.0. We talk about the app compact, uh, version 7 and we also talk about the support design and also we'll be talking about the ui automator testing uh where we'll be talking about the support test runner 0 0.5 and the support test rules 0 0.5 and the test ui automator uh version 18 and also the support annotations uh version 23.4.0 all right uh, all these are uh, dependencies are very very important and it's been built on the intelligent sdk version of 23 okay I'll be looking at the layout uh, folder where we have two XML files, the activity main, which is holding on to the main activity, uh, Java class, and also the deep link activity, which is holding on to the deep link activity, uh, Java class too. Okay, let's look at the activity main uh, XML. Okay, the activity main XML is a relative layout with the layout width and the height of match parent. It acts a text view that followed afterwards that says welcome text with an ID welcome text okay the wrap content is uh, is uh, significant to the layout with an height and we have to set the horizontal to true and also we set the gravity to sender uh the margin top margin left margin right margin bottom are all 20 dps okay the gravity is and the text on this text view it's called app invite quick start okay uh, i scroll it from the text appearances from the start text appearances app compact to and also from the text size the dimension text size okay Afterwards, we have a button. We have, we're going to be having two buttons. The first is for the invite button, uh, which is actually also on the wrap content, and it's going to sit above the custom invite button. Okay, which is this. Okay, it's going to the layout is above it. Okay, so uh, we have the layout center of horizontal true, and the text on it should be invite friends. Okay, uh, we have the second button, which is the custom invite button, giving it an idea of that. Okay, it's wrap contents with the layout with an height and the align parent bar term is true. The center horizontal also is true. So it's it uh, carries the text called custom invite. All right, that's fine. Okay, afterwards, we're going to have a frame layout where we're going to have an ID, which is the snack bar layout. It's actually a snack bar that will be telling us the progress of our clicks, our uh, send, our sending of the message, you know, because it uh, the toast has been deprecated to a snack bar. All right, you should start to take uh, use of the snack bar layout. Okay, and it's also a lamp parent bottom true and a line parent starts true. Okay, uh, that is on the activity main XML. 
let's look at the deep link activity xml okay the deep link activity xml is a linear layout with the layout with a nice match parent its orientation is vertical uh you can notice that here okay there's a linear layer right inside this linear layout as well whereby we out we have the fill parent to the layout width and the wrap content to the layout height it calls the background from the color cyan you know from the color directory and that's a graphic of sender and this orientation is vertical with a padding of 20 dp okay inside this linear layer we have a text view uh whereby uh the text view has the text of you got an invitation okay uh this is the uh the uh the second activity after you might have uh more from the first activity of the uh buttons okay now you have an image view calling for the mic uh directory which is the ic forum white okay just like uh uh we'll get there i'll show you what that uh uh drawable actually is okay afterwards we have another linear layout where we're going to set up uh the orientation to vertical it's but margin bottom left right and top are all 16 dps okay and it follows after with a text view whereby we assign a, an id called deep link text okay what's uh the text on this particular text view is the deep link not set okay calling from the string uh uh, uh directory okay call it it's also called this text appearance from the style text appearance app compare tie to so it's going to be tied to uh okay afterwards we have the text another text view where it carries an, an id called invitation id text okay it wrap contents based on the layout written height and the single line is true it's been ellipsized to the end and the text on it is invitation id not sent calling from the string uh xml all right afterwards we have another button and that button we assign an id called button okay okay and also the the style is from the widget app compact button borderless colored okay the layout with an it is wrap content and its graffiti is end okay and the text is also calling from the android string okay that's for two linear layouts right inside a linear layout okay that is explicit enough okay let's move to the java classes where we're talking about our main activity which is our launcher uh, activity okay what are the stuff that we've been imp we've imported uh let's look at it uh fine we need to import the gms in app invite uh the gms app invite invitation the gms app invite uh invitation result and the connection result the api google api clients uh and also the api result callback okay and the main activity extends app compared activity it implements the google api client the on click on connection fed listener and also the view on click listener okay but we set two strings uh two fields rather where the first uh field is a string find static final whereby call tag we call on the main activity class to get a simple name method okay the other one is the request invite where we set it to an integer of zero okay we have a private uh google api client being set here to the m google api client okay that's fine so we have an uncreate method where we're going to uh, call on the super uncreate and set this content view to the layout activity main and fine we're going to invite button click listener to this view okay based on the invite button and also the custom invite button so we'll be talking about two types of invite buttons the first is the invite button and the second is the custom invite button we set an unclick listener to it so that's going to listen to a click so afterwards we're going to create an auto manage google a player client with access to api uh, invite which is the field we said the private field we're going to instantiate with the new google api client calling on the builder and also we're going to add the api uh api invite api uh calling on the api rather which is the parameter and the enable auto manage so we're going to build this so we're going to check for app invite invitation and launch deep link activity if possible this requires that an activity is registered in the Android Manifest XML. So you have to register the deep link activity in the Android Manifest XML. So this is what it's going to call. Uh, it's going to call the deep link after the click has been successful. Okay. Uh, we have the unconnection un field where we're going to get the connection results. And we're going to have this tag. You know, it's going to display a show a message that Google Play Service error. If there's a connection field error. Okay. What about if there's an, if there's an invited click? Okay, what's going to do is going to call an intent based on the app in, in, invite invitation intent builder. Okay, so it's going to the, 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 the string follow this, this send app invite quick start invitation. 
so it's going to set a message that this app is if it is just going to be on the line of the uh, text input you can decide to take this off and uh, impute your own type of text because I actually got this from the stringer directory so the, we have the, also the URI, you, the URI pass where the, the, the example is the example.com offer five dollar offer you know you can also set this to a specific URL you are uh, you want it uh, we have the custom image is going to call the image okay we were actually having a Google logo brand already so and also the set call to action text which is the install because what is what what I what is the kind of action do you want them to carry out on this invite is to what, do what is to install the application so you're going to stack the activity for result based on the intent and passing the data to be a called intent okay we have the on custom invited click okay no user has clicked the user that clicked the custom invite button is going to launch the invitation you have but pass in a custom html body and subject for email invite this for email invite so it's going to pass in and it is going to call an intent based on the intent builder okay just like uh for the click uh button so we're going to call on the message we're going to set the deep link url pass and now we're going to set the H the email html content which is the uh the just in an html form so we have the html the first tag the body we concatenate it with the h1 tag which is the app invite which is the header now we have the href which is going to call on the app invite link placeholder you know this is the placeholder where you actually point uh the user to the particular uh invite uh url all right this is good you can also do several more, more modifications here so you're going to set the image subject to try this great app you can decide to use something else and you're going to build this application okay let's look at another method called on activity for results where you're going to call on uh, pass the three param parameters the request code the result code and the intent data okay call on the super activity result and now there's a log uh there's a tag on activity result which, which is going to uh concatenate the request code and also the result code so if the result code equals to the request invite okay this is a nested if statement now if inside this, this inside the if statement if the result code equals to result okay okay what's going to happen uh, it's going to send the its ids based on the id of the invitation that one invitation has been sent else it's going to show message that sending invitations will do what failed okay we have the show message uh which is this this, this actually add, uh, handling the snack bar okay with a view group container uh, we call on the id snack bar layout and we're going to make the container based on the message and also the snack bar length shot we're going to show this in the snack bar okay that's fine we have our own click method which is for the two the item at the uninvited click if the id of the invite button is, if the id is the invite button it's going to call on this method while if the id is a custom invite button is going to call on the on custom invite click method let's look at the deep click activity okay uh the deep click activity uh actually has few imports but it imported the uh gms app invite app invite referrer okay i want you to understand this so the activity activity for displaying information about a receipt app invite invitation this activity displays as a dialogue over the main activity and does not cover the full screen yeah it's just come, going to come out as a dialogue it's going to ensure to pick an account a google account afterwards it's going to take you to the uh, interface where you're going to have uh, the the input of uh, the message and also where you're going to have access to pick uh, uh, phone numbers directories from your contacts and be able to push this uh, message to them okay we have the duplicate activity which extends that compact activity and implements the view on click listener okay just like the way we declared the final string tag the, which is going to call the click activity and its class and it's going to get the simple name we have the unknown create method we have the super on create method and we're going to set the content view to the deep link activity xml now the button click listener uh will be set on the button okay okay afterwards we have on start so it's going to call out the super on start and the intent is going to know this is going to check if the intent contains an app invite and then process the referral information okay it's going to call on the app invite referrer and check if there's an if there's a referrer based on its intent uh, passed and going to process the referrer intent uh passing on the intent itself as a parameter okay uh 
we have another method called process referral intent okay these are method we declared right inside this if statement okay now what is this going to do it's going to extract referral information from the intent uh we have the string invitation id so okay this app invite referral is going to get the invitation id from the intent and also the deep link uh string is going to get the referral from the get deep link intent now it's going to display the referral information okay found the referral uh we're going to concatenate it with a referral invitation id with a column and also with a deep link now we're going to cast a text view calling on the id deep link text and we're going to set the text to the deep link uh string and also to the deep link also the same thing we're going to do to the invitation id you're going to set the text based on the string of uh the id invitation id fmt okay that's fine now our on click method is just going to undo only one button which is the button okay and this is going to finish the uh the call and it's going to break it out okay that's fine no this is short we're going to we have the two activities the first is the uh, main activity and the second is the ensuring activity that actually enables you to send this message to the right recipient okay i would like to show you this uh the screenshots of this application uh because i actually ran it on uh, a nexus google uh mobile device which is the android 6 uh the marshallow uh api so i would like you to look at the screenshots so that you can actually follow the flow of the application okay these are the first uh the launcher activity which is the main activity where we talk about these two buttons the invite friends and the custom invite so you click on the invite friends we take you to this activity uh we take you to something of this nature at first it's going to have ask you to uh, to pick uh your account or to add a new google account you must have a google account before you can continue with this uh, invitation but once you have been able to access your google account it's going to take you to this uh message and you have access to modify this to what you feel and what you feel suits you and you're going to add the, a recipient from the phone number that's going to send the message in the form of sms to this re recipient you know based on the uri you've coded in in your application and it's going to give them a point to uh for action which is to click and get your application downloaded okay uh the, this is going to you're going to have the access to pick a recipient and add it up to here before you can be able to send app invite quick start based on this button okay uh this is for the second custom uh message whereby you're going to uh be using email okay just like the first uh invite okay it's quite uh direct okay if you notice this is for the email so you're going to have the preview email where we actually created the header which is the h1 of the email uh the head and the html uh structure of the email and also the subject of the email you can edit this message and add yours and send the invitation to the particular recipient email you've added on thank you very much for listening i hope you've been able to pick up one or two things in this course of this app invite integration into your google into your android application thank you very much once more for hanging out with me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye